कैंसर हॉस्पिटल है और इसमें हमने रेडिएशन इक्विपमेंट जो डाला है वो प्रोसेशन रेडिएशन इक्विपमेंट है यानी जो जगह पर कैंसर है वहीं डायरेक्टली वो जाता है सो आजू बाजू के सेल्स को हार्म नहीं होता है तो ये एक्चुअली काफी सारे मेट्रोज में ये है नहीं लेकिन हमने गोदिया में डाला है हमने अकोला में डाला है ये हॉस्पिटल और डे केयर हॉस्पिटल है और हम नेक्स्ट वन चोला को भी डाल रहे हैं तो अच्छा रहेगा अगर आप छत्तीसगढ़ में इसकी बात करें तो इट्स क्लोज टू गोदिया मैंने सुना तो अच्छा रहेगा लोगों के लिए पेशेंस के लिए अपने साथ गुजराती में बात करी राजकोट ऐसी आऊ छू सौ पे आपने खूब खूब अभिनंदन आप हजार बीस मोटी हॉस्पिटल राजकोट जाइ रहा छो खूब खूब अभिनंदन राजकोट प्रजा वी राजकोट अखबारों वी आप खूब खूब आभार मानिए छे कि आप कंसिडर कर राजकोट ने एक सेंटर सारू सेंटर आप मैडम हूँ पर गुजराती में बात करी मीतल वोरा राजकोट और आजकल डेली सौ पे तो मैडम अमर मंडे की अमरी हेडलाइन हे कि राजकोट में अमरी हॉस्पिटल बेहजार बीस में आ रही है थैंक यू कोकिला बेनु नाम नहीं बोलता रिलायंस हॉस्पिटल के वहाँ से बिकॉज बधे एक स्टैंडर्ड हॉस्पिटल करनी है तो आ मधर इंस्टिट्यूशन रह से राजू त्रिवेदी लखनऊ धर्मेंद्र सिंह भदौरिया दैनिक भास्कर भोपाल मुंबई शादाम सभी फ्रॉम दैनिक भास्कर भोपाल सो आप सबको मिलकर बहुत खुशी हुई और ओह जी मैं आपको देव गुस्सामी फ्रॉम गोहाटी का निरंजन कंजोगा राजस्थान पत्ती का चाहिए ओह वेरी नाइस राजस्थान तो काफी अलग-अलग स्टेट्स से लोग आए हैं एंड आई होप कि आप सबको इन्होंने कंफर्टेबल रखा है आई होप I hope कल शाम कल रात को आपका जो dinner था was nice और आपकी जो queries हैं वो सब ने ठीक से सही तरह से आपको जवाब दिया और अगर कुछ भी आप मुझे पूछना चाहते हैं तो I am happy to address it and before we start the function दिल्ली में काफी hospitals और काफी medical consultations और काफी सेटअप्स हैं तो हमारी ख्वाहिश ये थी खास मेरी कि इंटरनेट जहाँ पर नॉर्मली प्रॉफिट इतना लोगों को दिखता नहीं है तो इसकी वजह से लोग जाते नहीं हैं तो इतना बड़ा इन्वेस्टमेंट करना बहुत कम होता है तो मेरी बहुत ये ड्रीम था कि मैं इंटरनेट में जाऊँ कि रूरल एरिया में जाऊँ क्योंकि बड़े मेट्रोस में तो काफी लोग एस्टैब्लिश कर रहे हैं। वहाँ तक अभी हम पहुँचे नहीं हैं सोच में, पर जरूर आपने सजेशन दिया है तो हम देखेंगे जरूर। थैंक यू, थैंक यू एंड थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग टुडे। I really sincerely मेरे दिल से appreciate करती हूँ और आप लोगों को thank you करती हूँ and I hope you are all comfortable any issues anything please Shreenik is there beat him up if you have to but have a good trip yeah no he does he's very good with this but if he doesn't beat him up you have my permission to do it thank you
May I request everyone to kindly be seated? Bachchan, Mr. Ambani, Mrs. Ambani, dignitaries, esteemed guests, members from the media, colleagues. On behalf of Kokila Ben Dhirubhai Ambani Hospital, it gives me immense pleasure to extend a very warm welcome to all of you here. At the outset, let me thank each one of you for taking time out on a Friday evening to be here with us. It truly means a lot to us. It is famously quoted that a journey of a thousand miles begins with one single step. This single step happened in the year 2005 when the Reliance Group decided to set up this hospital. Not many people may be aware that the one individual who played a catalytic role in the genesis of this hospital was none other than Mr. Amitabh Bachchan himself. It's truly a privilege and honor for us, sir, to have you here to inspire us as we celebrate this decade of distinction. It has indeed been an amazing decade, a decade where under the leadership of our chairperson, Mrs. Ambani, we've brought about a paradigm shift in the healthcare landscape. It is this innovative and disruptive approach which has led to us becoming the number one hospital in Western India. This journey would not have been possible without the support of all our stakeholders, all of you, 
We thank you for being here today and for the trust and faith that you will repose in this institution. May I now request our executive director, Dr. Ram Narayan, to kindly run us through the 10 year journey of this hospital. May I request our chairperson, Mrs. Tina Ambani, to please escort the dignitaries, Mrs. Kokila Ambani, Mr. Bachchan, and Mr. Anil Ambani onto the dais. Over to you, Rana. There was space, there was light, there was hope. This was a large part of the journey which had been achieved. We backed it up with technology, Asia's first intraoperative MRI, India's first trilogy and mobile STX, which were linear accelerators for precision radiation therapy and stereotactic radio surgery. But the soul of the institute, over and above the infrastructure and technology, was the talent. We believe we had a cradle of global talent. We had a crucible of ideas. And you get these together. We had a team with self-belief, with passion, with pride, and the desire to innovate. But this was the engine which we were going to build this institute around. We also believe that we require processes, standardized care pathways and protocols. This gives consistency in quality of care and outcome. We could audit our practices. There was very high accountability. Our physicians were on fixed packages. And to prevent inertia, we incentivized to keep the momentum. With this combination of infrastructure, technology, people, processes, the journey began. We launched on the 26th of January. 2009, and there we are 10 years ago, and it looks very familiar. We said we have to set this goal of bridging gaps and setting benchmarks. That has been the central tenet. That has been the driving force. The Children's Heart Center was launched in 2009. Earlier, children had to go to New Delhi and Chennai for cardiac procedures. We said we need to take care of this. Well, along the journey, we are now among the top two programs in the country in terms of volume and outcomes. We have done over 7,000 pediatric cardiac surgeries. We do around 1,000 pediatric cardiac surgeries. We have to continue, so we started the robotic surgery program. This was the first comprehensive multi-specialty program. It's now ranked number one in the country, again in volumes and outcomes. We have done over 2,500 robotic surgeries and we do around 700 every year. We are pioneers in the country. 2018, it's 19 now. Our cancer centers, JK cancer centers, were launched in Akola and Gondia in December of 2018. We have acquired land for another 15 cancer centers, which will be operated locally by all of you that we can get going in those. And there will be two more 250 bed hospitals for which we have acquired land in Raipur and Rajkot again to be operational by 2022. <laughs> but that's all numbers, a fact sheet, what we did. Finally, when you talk about bridging gaps, benchmarking to the best, passion, self-belief, converges with this. 
these are some of the things which we have done. The city had the first baby wild switch operation done in a Respected Kokila Ben, Amit Ji, Jaya Ji, Anil, Nina, my colleagues from the hospital, esteemed guests, my friends, and our friends from media. Good evening and a very warm welcome to Kokila Ben Hospital. Standing here today, I'm overcome with emotions. It seems like yesterday that we were gathered here for the inauguration. Excuse me. At the outset, I must thank Amiji for being here today. He's not only a global icon, but a dear friend, always close at hand and to the heart. Always there to support me in all my endeavors always inspirational. Amiji, your presence here means the world to me and my entire team. It also fills me with joy to see my family here. Mamiji, whose blessings guide us all and whose understanding and support light our path. My precious sisters and their families. My beloved Anmol and Anshul, our legacy to the world. And of course, Anil. Always Anil. You are the wind beneath my wings. Our gladiator. The strongest man I know. And my source of unconditional love and support. As some of you may remember, when we inaugurated the hospital, Anil referred to this project as my third child. And he was so right. 10 years on, I understand that motherhood is the best metaphor to describe the evolution of this institution. The gestation period began very early in 2005, when I was given the honor of birthing this project. The growing pains began the year after. When we started work, not just rebuilding from the shell, up from the ground up, but imbuing it with spirit and love. Outlining not just the structure, but the substance for a world-class facility with heart, soul, and a unique Indianness. For a novice like me, who had no knowledge or understanding of medical field. It was quite an overwhelming experience. Now my baby is growing up, slowly but surely, and I'm so proud. As with any other mother, this process has been transformative and life of honor. Teaching me so much. I'm sorry. teaching me so much and bringing so much meaning to my life. The universe of healthcare is all-consuming. It has drawn me into its vortex, from understanding people, processes, and protocols, to realizing the vast possibilities that exist to touch and save lives. There are no expiry dates to learning. It is something I've always believed in, believed in but now I know it for sure. More important, I have learned that it is purpose, not any consideration of profit, that drives excellence. When a group of people come together, united in that purpose, fueled with passion, they can move mountains. It is this sense of purpose that energizes me every time I walk through these doors, because I see it mirrored in the eyes of my team. 
With this purpose comes commitment to touch as many lives as we can, to extend our embrace of care and compassion, widen our footprint, go deeper, strive harder, aim higher, and, in the, and give India the health care she truly deserves. Friends, today is indeed a very, very special day, a remarkable milestone for us. I personally believe there are five pillars that can transform healthcare in India. Making it accessible means cutting across geographic divides. Making it affordable, enabling more people to avail of it. Building awareness so that Indians can become more proactive rather than be reactive about their health and not take their health for granted. Being more aspirational with the use of the latest technology available and using the power of association. Working together with other like-minded organizations and government to create an ecosystem of inclusion. And on all these parameters, we have made significant strides. Today, I reiterate our determination to achieve these goals. Friends, I also take this opportunity to express a deep sense of gratitude to Team KDAH. From our doctors, nurses, and medical technicians to our management. The irreplaceable K. Narayan. Dr. Kushal Motiwala, Dr. Ram Narayan, Dr. Santosh Shetty, and Dr. Mihir Dalai, who I have worked so closely with. All my administrators and support staff, each and every individual who has walked this journey with us, past and present. Here I must mention Dr. Vikram Chatwal who kick-started this journey with us and is here today. Thank you, Vikram. Thank you, everyone. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Your passion has helped achieve this goal and this milestone. You are the reason I stand here today. I wish I could name and honor each one of you, but let me just say this. You are the lifeblood of this institution. And you remind me every day that healthcare is not just a profession, it is a calling. About people, for people, by people. The truest expression of humanity. This day is yours. Thank you very much. Honestly, this celebrations wouldn't be complete without Anil saying a few words. Anil, may I request you to come up, please? <laughs> Jai Shri Krishna. Namaskar and good evening. My respected mother Kokilade, my elder brother Sri Amitabh Bachchan, who I refer as Da, Babi Jayaji, Tina, family members, and friends. Ten years. Wow. One thing is certain that in 10 years I have grown older and Tina has become younger. <laughs> Let me share with you a few facts 
and a few teachings. This hospital was to be built by Dr. Manke and his wife Alka, who is here today. It is always the desire of God, as I believe, that will determine what we will be able to achieve in our lifetimes. It was not in Dr. Manke's destiny to see this dream of his to be a reality. Unfortunately. So this was back in 2005. I got a call. And it was the legendary Balasai Thakre on the phone who said, Anil Ake Milo. And I said, sure. Nobody says no to Balasai Thakre in any of this. <laughs> so I went and met him. And Balasai had an extremely strong, emotional, and admirable relationship of trust, faith, and mutual respect with my father, the late Thirubhai Ambani. And for me, Whatever Balasai would have told me or directed me, I would just honor as if it was a directive of my father. So I asked him, I said, Balasai, why have you summoned me? And he said, uh, you know, I went through this surgery and uh, Dr. Manke did that surgery. And I encouraged him to build his hospital. Unfortunately, he is no more. So I want you to go and take over this project and build this hospital. And I looked at him and I said, Balasai, I don't know anything about hospitals. And I don't know anything about medicine. And I don't know whether we can take on such a large responsibility. Uh, and he looked at me and said, I agree with you. Your father was not a chemical engineer. He was not a chartered accountant, he was not a lawyer, but he built Reliance Industries. <laughs> so, don't find excuses. <laughs> Please meet Al Kaji and see what is possible. When he left with that word of what is possible, I thought it was an exit way of saying, you know, I've had my chat and you know, it's not possible. I left his room and I said, okay, I'll catch up with Alkaji and we'll figure out. And uh, I just let time go by, hopefully thinking that Balasai will forget about this episode. And uh, Balasai must have thought to himself, this is not like this. So, he knows that the ultimate Brahmashtra <laughs> he used on me was, he called Da. And he said, Ye Ali tumara chila hai, usko bulao, aur ya tum saath mein leke ao, aur usko bolo ye hospital kare. So, Da called me and said, you have to meet Mrs. Manke and you got to work this out. So I said, this is like a double barrel. You know, you've got Bala Sahib on one side and you've got Habiji on the other side. And it's going to be a very difficult task to say no. 
So those were the two, you know, actual creators of this festival. <laughs> we then engaged with Alkaji and uh, we said that uh, we want to give all the recognition we can to Dr. Manke. So we have a bus down, we have the Manke Auditorium, the wing, etc. And we have the Manke Foundation under which the hospital is built. Alkaji is on that foundation. And so we really respect Dr. Manke, Mrs. Manke. And I want to take this opportunity, and Bala Sahib's birthday has just passed by a few days ago, to really thank him. And he is looking upon us down from heaven in the company of my father and smiling and saying, Chalo, achha kuch kaam kiya apne. Once we cross this hurdle, or opportunity is the way I would call it, the next challenge was, bhai isko karega kaun? So then, there used to be a very popular MTV show called Bakra. <laughs> so we said, ke, hey, hey, koi to bakra So very quickly, I zeroed in and I said, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> We're going to do this. But I was driven by a few teachings of my late father when I thought through this. And the first one of his teachings or mantras was, if you can dream it, you can do it. And I think we dreamt of it and I think we have done it. The second teaching of his was you don't need to have experience. You don't need a track record. You don't need a legacy. You don't need a serving to succeed. What you need is simplicity. What you need is to be given an opportunity. What you need is the ability to execute. What you need is an attitude. Following his mantra, I think we had Tina, who fitted into all those definitions and said, well, if Dhirubhai Ambani could do so much for India, I'm sure Tina can do something for the city of Mumbai and for the nation. Tina is a boss woman. <coughs> So she needs an army and I quickly had the ability to look for one of my teachers and one of my gurus in corporate life, K. Narayan. <laughs> who had just taken retirement from being president of Reliance's textile business. And KN, as he is known as, I call him Professor, because he was a professor before he joined my father as an export executive. And then through the ranks, rose from being an export executive to being the president of our textile business. So I basically told him, Professor, no retirement, I love and grow. 
and don't give me all these excuses you don't know anything about medicine medical profession surgery etc etc because all that is actually a qualification for you to get a job and we can see the results today on what the kokila bhai dhirubhai ambani hospital is all about so that was his second teaching of my father and the third and the last one which has been followed to the last dot is in one of my father's speeches he said you should never ever be afraid to hire people who are more clever than you you need to surround yourself with excellence and with intelligence and all you need to do is to display your common sense the fact of the matter that between k narayan and tina they been able to put together a world class team of people like santosh like ram like so many others i think is really a strong vote for the teachings of dhirubhai ambani as i conclude i think that when we call this the kokila ben dhirubhai ambani hospital and in short form it's kdah in short form it is the kokila ben hospital i think that sitting up there in heaven looking down upon his wife my mother kokila ben looking upon his daughter in law the <coughs> papa would be very very proud today of what has been created thank you The wonderful lady, whose name this hospital bears with such pride, Dr. Lavan Jirwal Ambani, to come to the podium and address us. Thank you. occasion i still remember the day this hospital was inaugurated 10 years back tina and her team had worked so hard and tirelessly that it was a really in a record time i've seen this hospital is tina's baby you know tina is no daughter tina has only two sons But this is Tina's baby. She has grown up now for the same year. She has nurtured is like a caring mother, and develop is like a dedicated professional. This baby has turned ten today, and we can see the result of Tina's dedication. The hospital has grown so much. and <coughs> involves to so rapidly is there 10 years 
it is the best hospital awards not only one but thrice tina चलो अभी हॉस्पिटल तो ले लिया अभी बहुत काम करने का है क्या करेगा ये तो सब लेकिन बेबी आने वाली है तो बेबी का नाम क्या रखेगा सो सो मेनी नेम वी हैव डिसाइडेड बट फाइनली अनिल हैज टोल्ड मी के मम्मी आ हॉस्पिटल નું નામ મારે સોરી થોડો ગુજરાતી માં બોલું છું જેને ન સમજાય બાજુ વાળા ને પૂછી લે બિલીવ ઇટ when hospital started now 10 years so in so many advertisements came in the paper and some politician or industrialist or who was the name known admitted in our hospital and first day it comes hospital ab in group by amari hospital so i have so many friends so they never read properly first they say hospital ab in amari hospital ગુજરાતી મંડળ માય ગોર કોકિલા બેન નોટ વેલ ના they phone my house and my secretary mohan he say mohan mohan how is kokila be <laughs> so mohan ke why she is here so i say is she admitted in the hospital so mar ke jab the important was the police was here in the hospital so i'm so happy she <laughs> only has given my name so everybody remembers in the morning <laughs> is a morning news <laughs> the baby has turned 10 today and we can see the result of tina's baby cancer the hospital has grown up so much and evolved so rapidly in those 10 years <laughs> the best hospital awards not only once but thrice tina i am so happy and proud heartiest congratulations to you Many a time I get letters and messages of the patient who have been treated here. They are full of praise for his world-class treatment, competent doctors, excellent facility, and the courteous staff. I am so touched to hear all these things. Tina, जारे आपना कोई वखान करे त्यारे आपने बहुत खुश था ये पर आपने हॉस्पिटल ना वखान करे इतने इराती वधारे खुशी था ये I feel really proud of owner that this hospital is my name I wish the Rupert Mani was here today to see this hospital and its amazing progress he would have been so proud about her little Tina. Really Tina you put your heart and soul into this institution it's really so congratulations to you and your entire team for the incredible work 
I urge your team to keep up the hard work and continue on the path of excellence. अबे आना थी वधारे उसको बोलूं कारण के अनिल अब तो कई दिन तो जे पापा माटे के बाद बहुत कई दिन ते अपने हॉस्पिटल दे आगर लाओ सु बधारा सपोर्ट थी सारा डॉक्टर वापर ने बोले आचे सारी सिस्टर हो चे स्टाफ चे अने ए लिटेज अपने हॉस्पिटल नू नाम खूब आगर आ गयी चे अने आई विश कि आना थी खूब खूब आपने उत्तर उत्तर प्रगति रहे और एक प्रवृत्ति में जीवन बदान हो रहे और एक हॉस्पिटल में जितना लोगों आवे चे ये रोटा रोटा आवे चे और वसी में गेज जाए चे about my presentation and uh, I think about each of the words which were chosen. Whether you talk about self-belief, faith, passion, innovation, the pursuit of excellence, chasing perfection, this is all embodied in building an institute. And here we have a person in our midst who is an individual who is an institution by himself. Every single word which I use, I think applies to the gentleman, and that is why we believe he is the perfect man who inspires us today to take us to the next level and show us the way. I give you Mr. Mutapachi. How are you, mommy? I'm actually the wrong person to be here as an inspiration for this hospital when you have such eloquent speakers like Kukla Ben and Anil Rai. inspires. But really, it's, it seems just like the other day when we were here in this very auditorium to launch this hospital. And uh, we never realized what those initial steps were going to take us to. But how wonderful it is, Tina Bhavi, to be here again today at the end of 10 years and to notice, to know, and to learn what a tremendous journey this has been and the amount of effort that all the doctors and the people involved with this hospital have put in to make it truly a very proud moment for us. The Initiation for the hospital, as uh, Tina Babi and Anil have said, uh, and given their brief as to how it came about, um, is to a large extent true. I did have a word from Balasa talking about starting this and putting in a word to Anil, but actually it was uh, Mrs. Manke who one afternoon paid me a visit and said that her husband had a dream of building a, a medical center. And uh, those of you that have known Dr. Manke would have known how, what a joyous person he was. He was full of life and energy and always happy and smiling, um, a loud voice. And the moment he would enter any environment, it would always fill the place up with, uh, with a lot of positivity. And to suddenly lose him um, was a great shock to those that knew him and, of course, to those in the medical fraternity. And Mrs. Monke came across to my house and said, uh, we've actually built a small, um, I don't know what you call it, what do you call it? A shell, yeah. We built a shell and uh, 
because of his passing away, we've been unable to do anything further. You do know some people who are influential enough and can put in a lot of interest and money in this project. Would it be possible for you to talk to some of your friends? That was the time when uh, Balasab called, and that was the time when I turned to Anil, gave him a call and said, we need to do this. I turned to Anil because, uh, I've never said this before Anil, but I myself have had uh, many trials uh, in hospitals with my own uh, medical problems. But I have to admit that every time I've had that problem, there has been one man that has always come forward voluntarily to help out and give his advice and help, and that has been Mr. Anil Ambani. So when I turned to him, it was just like uh, asking him to help me out when I'm suffering from a suspected cancer problem, um, tuberculosis or hepatitis B, which I still uh, suffer from, I felt that Anil would be the right person to go to. And I really must thank you, Anil, for heeding some of the advice that was given to me by Balasa, that you must ask uh, Anil to go ahead with this project. I also felt there was a great emotion attached to Mrs. Monkey's request of wanting to build something uh, that her husband has started. And, uh, for, for me, that was a great amount of respect um, that a wife would have towards a husband, and I felt it very necessary that I would take this project forward. I'm delighted, of course, that uh, to learn of the many facilities that this hospital has now. This part of the city really doesn't have, uh, didn't have any facility a long time ago. But when this hospital came up, it has become the center of all medical help and attraction. And I'm so proud of Tina Bhavi for having put in so much effort to bring in some of the best talents in the entire world, to bring in the latest technology. Every time there has been an issue, a problem, and I've talked to her, she's always put forward an element which said that we have the latest technology, we have the best people that we could find in this part of the hemisphere or this part of the world, and we are determined to make sure that it works for us. And when I've had the opportunity to meet some of the doctors and the specialists that have been working in the hospital, I'm truly inspired and wish you all the very best because you give confidence to a patient. And being a patient in a hospital many times over, I, I can realize what it means when a patient comes to a hospital. It's the doctors, it's the environment of the hospital. It's the way the lift works, or the way you park your car, or the way the entrance looks like. It's the way the designing of a hospital looks like. These are some of the things that actually make you feel good and healthy. And you feel that you've come to a right place. And this is the place I feel that I'm going to get my cure. I have to say that every patient that I've known, friends, visitors, that have come to the Kokinabai and Dhirubai Ambani Hospital, <laughs> have only wonderful things to say. The kind of atmosphere that greets them, the kind of help and the attention that is given to them, which is so personalized, it is truly admirable, Tina Rabi, that you've been able to inculcate this kind of a temperament within the hospital. It's been 10 years, and we've heard some of the achievements of the hospital. I hope that uh, we're here again for the next 10 year celebration and the many other decades that will follow. You obviously know Tina Bhavi and Anil and that uh, any time you will require my services, uh, I shall always be there. I hope I never have another opportunity to get admitted in here. <laughs> but, but in any other way, I'm always there as a friend and a well wisher. Thank you so much.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great privilege and an honor to propose the word of confidence on this, the 10 year celebrations, celebrations of our decade of distinction. First and foremost, thank you, Mrs. Kukira Benambani. Tamara Ashiva Janisne, Sadayaman Satyadaya. Thank you, madam. Thank you for the lovely, eloquent speech. Thank you for the word of confidence. Thank you for always being there. We wish you a long life of great joy and the best of all. Thank you, our chief guest for today, Mr. Amita Pachan. You spent time to speak to us in spite of your busy schedule. Thank you for the thundering word of confidence in the work that we are doing. Sir, you have been with us in the whole decade. You hosted our organ donation team on Kon Banega Karodpati. You have given your voice to our documentary on National Geographic. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Mrs. Jab and what we've achieved so far. I thank all the distinguished invitees, our donors, community leaders. Thank you for the confidence. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.